so dear friends uh, today we will discuss about the operation of ionization pump or ion pump so this is a basically vacuum pump which is mainly used for the creation of the vacuum let us see the how this pump has been constructed this is the closed chamber and here this is the collector i want to write here this is the collector plate okay now this is cathode or rings of cathode and this is the anode or rings of anode here and positive emf has been applied so it is called as anode and negative emf has been applied means negative current has been applied here so it is called as cathode now in this when the current has been applied in this between two a great magnetic field field has been created okay now let us see how this work okay this collector plate is mainly used for the collection of molecules okay let me talk about the how the working of this ionization pump will do this is the anode and this is the cathode and this is the collector plate when a potential positive and when a potential negative applied at the both the sides okay then here the positive emf will be generated and negative emf will be generated so due to this emf a great magnetic lines of forces has been created between these two when the magnetic field with a high potential is created then this this system is enclosed in in them some space where a gas will be flowing okay when the gas will be flowing so this gas will interact with the positive and the negative let me say in the gas there will be many types of moistures are them which forms the ions positive ions and negative ions here due to the magnetic lines of forces the electrons will from negative side to positive side and positive electron from the positive side to negative will be travel with each other when these negative electrons some of them are free electron these free electrons will in contact with the moistures means in contact with the moistures present in the space around these two in the magnetic field then they get ionized this ionized uh, molecules of moisture is travel with the high velocity with the high potential when these two are traveling with the high potential and high velocity this come interact with this uh, collector plate this collector plate having earthing at the bottom so it will having there is no charge here so charged particles when interact with the collector this causes the potential is zero so it will lose all the kinetic energy and the potential energy when they are lose the potential energy and kinetic energy this forms the an empty space with the absence of any moistures any gas any uh, anything so forms an evacuated or matterless space which we call it as a vacuum vacuum can be defined as a space which is which does not contain any more matter and so there is no uh, there is no such gases are there which so it is there is no uh, gases are in in this space such type of space called as a uh, an vacuum